I'd like to ask, you know, you, you, uh, on your blog, you shared that uh, your deeper purpose in life was to give hope and healing to people by igniting their inner voice. Yeah, so quoting you. Uh, so could you share with us why this is so important to you? Thanks for asking the question. Um, growing, up, growing up, like I said, I was a very emotional boy. Um, yeah, so yeah. When, whenever I express myself or say certain things, um, my, my dad will say this to me. He says, whatever you share, you know, what you say doesn't pass the common sense test. And um, he also told me this one line, that boys should be seen and not heard. Mm. And it's, it's, it's funny that, you know, it's ironic to think I'm a professional speaker today as well. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so for me, um, I've always, I, I've always felt silenced. I felt that I lost my voice. And oh. in school, when I was in secondary school, um, I, was, I was bullied a lot. And again, I felt that I've lost my voice. So, and that's the reason why, you know, um, I have embarked on this journey of finding my voice. Um, there are a couple of examples of me finding my voice. I remember when I was in secondary school, I was, I was um, role-playing in literature class, a particular scene from Macbeth. And I was told, I was teased and I was bullied by my classmates said that uh, I, you know, Cohen is crazy, you know, he should be sent to the, the mental hospital. Yeah. So that hurt me a lot. And I, I became very, very uh, shut down after that. I, I don't want to speak up in class anymore. I kept to myself, largely to myself. Um, that was until I went to university, you know, when um, in NTU, we had opportunities to, to select an elective program and um, instead of learning something, you know, something that I, I'm not interested in, I decided to learn language. And so I somehow stumbled into learning French. And I recall when I first walked into French class, I was so intrigued and, you know, I felt, I felt like I found my home. And oh. when the, the professor asked, who would like to volunteer to do a role play? Of course I volunteered because I'm like, well, we are all beginners again. We are all yeah. learning French together. Yeah nobody can laugh at me because you don't know any better than me, right? So <laughs> I, 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 I volunteered and I, wow, I love it so much. And I ended up studying two years of French and I was nominated for the Brest French Language Award student, wow. even though my results weren't stellar, but my enthusiasm for the language helped me a lot. So that is one of the episodes that kind of like helped me to recover my voice. Um, in terms of public speaking, I have to thank the Toastmasters. Um, when I first joined the Toastmasters in 2007, I was way into my adulthood. I wished I had learned that way early in my life. Yes. Um, the power of public speaking, the safe space where I can practice, I further found my voice. So having been somebody who was silenced and having found my voice, I want to help you know, people to reclaim their voice um, and set their hearts free. I've um, learned improv theater. I also learned acting classes, took up acting classes as well so that I can, you know, um, be able to, to, to be more, not say dramatic, but be more expressive in the way I communicate so that, you know, I can capture people's attention. So I've learned it the hard way, being ignored and neglected. So I, I am also in a good place to, 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 to teach, coach and train um, other people, how to become more compelling presenters, public speakers, how to, to have more, you know, executive presence uh, when, they, when they speak so that they can be more seen, heard, respected. 